Let's solve the equation. 1 third to power x minus 1 equals 81. So this is a power equation, so we can hit both sides with a log. And we can try to simplify. Over on the right-hand side, I have the log of 81, and that's a number I have no idea what that is, so I'll leave it alone. Over on the left-hand side, I have 1 third raised to power x minus 1, and one of our rules of logs is that if I'm going to take the log of a power, the exponent can be brought out front as a factor. And so this exponent, x minus 1, can be brought out front as a factor, and my left-hand side will simplify. A little analysis goes a long way. Over on the left-hand side, I have a product, x minus 1 times log of 1 third. So I can simplify a product by dividing. And that gives me x minus 1 equals log 81 over log 1 third. I want to solve for x, so at this point I need to add 1 to both sides. And I get my solution. While this is a perfectly valid answer, we can simplify it if we make the following observations. First, 81 is itself a power. It's 3 to power 4. 1 third is also a power of 3. It's 3 to power negative 1. And this means we can do some simplification. If x is 1 plus log 81 over log 1 third, equals means replaceable. So every place I see 81, I can replace it with 3 to the fourth. Every place I see 1 third, I can replace it with 3 to power negative 1. But now I have powers, and our theorem says that if I want to take the log of a power, the exponent can be brought out front as a multiplier. So this log of 3 to power 4, that becomes 4 times the log of 3. And the log of 3 to power negative 1 becomes negative 1 times log 3. But wait! There's more. In our fraction here, both numerator and denominator have a common factor of log 3. And so we'll remove that common factor, do a little arithmetic, and again, while this is a perfectly good answer, this is a perfectly good solution, a better form of this perfectly good solution is just negative 3.